It is. It is old. Yes, now the fun is on and working. Yes. Marvellous. It is very much art. Not all my art. That is Mr. Translate Moss Paint, aka Jurassic Arc, aka potentially going to be Translate Moss Paint at some point. Uh, but I'm doing a little corner icon for him. And I'm just trying to. Put my mind. Yes. But I'm not actually where I want to be. That's why it doesn't exist. Marvellous. Uh, oh, yes, of course, of course, of course. That's why I probably can't do that, yes. Yes, no, that's fair. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Different plan. Like that. Like that. I think this works, but. Yes, yes, it is probably going to be uh, mutterings mostly, or silence, of course, but uh, a lot of it's mutterings because it's just trying to figure out what. There's something obvious with it. Yeah, as I suspect, you can't do that. I have solved this problem before, I just can't remember how. Which is always the one. Uh, what other options do we have? Don't you just love programs that don't necessarily utilise the same shortcuts as other programs? It's flipping glorious. Make that a slightly more invisible mask colour. I think that's hugely important. Get this feathering. Feathering on the inside, which is interesting. Mm. It's actually, it's feathering bow. The only one that's of any real significance is the inside. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. It doesn't make like sense. I didn't think it did, but it can't. now I think it does. Mm. That works nicely, actually. So there we go. I solved my problem. I slowed and missed it. Uh, right, let's see what we'll this next bit. Uh, figuring out precisely what I'm going to do. Yes, 
indeed. Ooh, yeah. Right. Um, mm. Okay. Cigarettes. Create a new one. Yeah. Go. No. And finished with that. Uh, right. So we're looking at sort of hmm, so probably about three minutes. Three minutes is my guess anyway. Three minute loop is not. It's what I've done in the past and it's it's worked nicely. So right, first thing what we'll do We'll just bring that in, and then that will just play. That's the wrong one, or is it? No, oh, no, that is the wrong one. Cool. Oh, uh, if it wasn't obvious uh, from the chat, <laughs> I've got Pretzel Rocks playing in the background, um, which is. And I, I've, I've set it to the chip tune. I could set it to, you know, I could go emo if I fancied. But yeah, I, was, I heard tell of this uh, of this thing, pretzel rocks, and it's all sort of it's all copyright free music, and it throws the track in there for you. I do wonder though. Without link address, because in the test message I discovered you get rip rolled. Um, but is this the actual artist link? I'm assuming yes. Oh, it actually takes you to Spotify. Intriguing enough. Yeah. I think that's now playing twice, possibly. I don't know. But yes, that's as it says there, calculated by a big deal, which is quite interesting. Uh, let's just pop you to a neutral area that won't make any difference. Uh, but yeah, that's. That's there if you're interested. I don't think it's too heavy in the background, but I don't know. It's sometimes difficult to tell for certain. Now, uh, now at this point, if I just do that. Something the first time you do it, it's always, always the wrong thing. Uh, right, so what we can do, we'll probably get away with just plopping that in there, and then that, that can extend as far or as not far as I need it. Uh, right, so save the glow, save the glow, save the glow, save the glow, save the glow. Now, There's going to be a lot of just staring at the screen going, hmm, as well, I fear. That is rather, <laughs> that is rather the case with doing these things, because it's Sometimes it's you know, good to just dive in and go with options, and then other times it's quite good to just sit back, take your time, figure it out gently in your brain before acting. I feel like this is a figure it out in the brain before acting sort of one. Because I'm wondering if it would be easier to start from scratch. Especially because I don't need. I'm bringing it sort of hot and then bringing it down. I don't need that crossfade, which makes me wonder if it would be simpler to just go. Not like a major starting scratch, but I can still reuse all of the masks and stuff. But so I think if I start from scratch, so let's duplicate that. 
Well, it's still, it is still slightly a glow. But, fade up. I think that's a day dot. But no, fade up, fade down. You can't really fade up, then fade up a bit more. So, yeah, fade up. Oops, that's the wrong one. Now we're into the right one. So at this point, you can get rid of that one. Uh, remove the transparency adjustment. Now, I think we'll do this over a minute, maybe. We might extend the three minutes with previously done. Uh, no, that's frames. Uh, no, frames. Frames, second minute. Uh, minute. No, one minute. One minute to go. It is. It is the magic being. The magic being art. I can't, I can't help myself. I know it's really easy to type, to mistype. I just can't help, when I see it, I have to leap on it like a puma, like a fat puma. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so uh, what we're doing, we're extending that to the minute. Tune's a little louder, okay. Uh, which way round to solve that? Probably better to solve that in this way round. Right. Okay, well, we'll drop it down to the sort of, what's well, arguably, if I'm going to do that. I'll drop it down to. I think I'll drop it there. I'll drop it there, and then when the track, the next track turns up, have a bit of an assess. Once it's in its full. This is. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh, Pop Sky. A month of Pop Sky. There you go. It says it there. Oh, in fact, it's twenty-four ninety-nine dollars. Um, you can't stay long, regardless. You must off to do things. That's fair enough. Uh, doings is quite important. Luckily, I can sit here and do my doings, obviously, because of the whole <laughs> my doings is this. Uh, for now, at least. As, as the title alludes to, I might try and fit in some Blender. Depends on how much uh, how much goes into this. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. As I say, if, if people can assess the sound level again and I can uh, bring it down or up. Well, yeah. I can read slightly further down, past 25, past lowering it 25 decibels might prove troublesome and tricky, but we'll see. Uh, right, okay, doings, doings, doings. Okay, so, I think if we try and build it over, if I'm doing like a minute, I'm wondering if, we'll try, right, if I'm doing it over a so I might want this to be a minute and a half. Yeah, yeah okay, let's do that. Uh, wait, that, oh god, I can't remember. No, that is, the, that is seconds, so I do want 30, yeah, that's fine. I got myself confused. On this occasion, there's almost a benefit, I suppose, over the usual playlist I utilise. Um, I can actually hear Pretzel Rocks. So, chances are I might end up completely missing the song and completely missing the sort of the theme, but nonetheless, you never know, it might cause a little bit of lyricalness, and it will actually match, instead of the usual one, which is, um, <laughs> the usual one is, it's just, because I can't hear the playlist I usually use, it's just in my brain and so it doesn't go with the music that's playing now i grant you as I, as specified it doesn't go with the music playing as is but nonetheless it, it's at least going to be closer okay let's extend these to the uh, limits uh, right so 30 seconds uh, save up Important, oh yeah. Um, hmm. I suppose I could go, I could find out a bit more of the music soon. Can I? 
Can I hit myself? Interesting. No, no, I can't. Although maybe. Oh yes, I can. Oh yes, I can. Theoretically, although I haven't said that. No, because it's quite so quiet. You can't hear the echo. But I can't actually. Yeah, I can't actually assess it myself because I can't. Yeah. The issue is I can't hear the stream whilst listening to the music and if I turn the music off I can't assess the difference between my voice and the music so yeah awkward anyway okay let's see what we fancy I don't know so I'm sort of counting in with this one what I'll probably do <laughs> uh, the first thing we'll try and do actually let's it. Pop it in here. So, and we can put it on over there. And then what we'll do is we'll grab that mask, because that mask should just work. And there's nothing stopping me just sort of remaking the mask, but you know, copy and paste was invented for a reason. Uh, and yeah, that's the feathering correct. So let's go back to the black. Uh, yeah. Difficult to tell. Let's try. Options one. There. So what we're trying to do here is figure out the next step, which involves uh, doing something. Uh, poor size. Uh, I mean that would probably get rid of everything basically. But we'll say if I want to try and yeah, basically eliminate everything. Let's see what happens when we probably try and render that on a slightly lesser quality. Otherwise, it's going to take uh, 600 years to render out. There you go, that sort of. That actually does relatively gently fade up. Last minute, I think we want something slightly higher than quarter quality because it becomes significantly difficult to tell if it's doing what I expect it to be doing. Seconds is our magic marker. synchronization or something. Uh, it, it is weird how the music is sort of matching the, the flaring of the of the energy. Uh, despite the fact that it doesn't. It just sort of starts syncing off in your brain. Yeah what's meant sometimes simple is that we really need. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm slightly thinking explosive. Which I know. What the hell? Why are you thinking explosions? I'm always thinking of explosions. 
I just wonder what happens if, let's say, the minute mark. Very pretty art style, I know. This is one of the best available. Why well, I show it off quite so much. Uh, I really don't go running off again. Kinds of wizard, yeah. Well, as as specified, and I know technically it requires a certain level of knowledge of what each of these do. Although having said that, as you just saw, it was a case of what does this do? Oh no, I don't like that. Undo. Um, but this plugin, it is in fact called the Saber plugin, and I'll sh I'll show it off slightly more. Uh, I think what I'll just do a new layer here, new solid. Uh, I'll do it on a black layer because it will look fancier. But uh, you'll realise in a moment or two why it's called the Sabre plugin, and it's by Video Copilot, which is the company run by Andrew Kramer, and he does incredibly good tutorials. Uh, so if you ever wanted to look up Video Copilot, you could learn After Effects as well, because his tutorials are just spot on. He has that perfect balance, or at least for me, it's the perfect balance, and um, it's basically the perfect balance of humour and facts and impressiveness essentially and that I find is quite useful to me because if they can make me chuckle part way through a tutorial I think I concentrate more but there you go you, you can perhaps tell now why um <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you can tell why it's called the saber plugin because it is it's based on lightsabers it is lightsabers essentially um, an extra interesting fact, of course, the default one is just your basic bog standard lightsaber. However, if I pop down here to a little preset called Starkiller, you have, um, especially if I was to. Um, no, that wouldn't work, but this would. There we go. Does that look familiar? A cross guard lightsaber with sort of nothing worse than a warring dry guide. Yes. Um, but yes, there you go. That is the Saber plugin, and it is, I mean, it's incredible. Because especially, like, so, this background here, the, the pink energy, that is still Saber plugin. Just the, the main difference, if I can find them again, there we go. Uh, if you see here, now if you're familiar with Photoshop, you probably know, uh, you use the pen tool, and I've just penned in this little line not even that uh, close to the original line, it didn't make much difference for this purpose. Um, but you pen in that line around the outside, and then... Interesting. If 
Well, arguably, did a new track. No. Hmm. Well, we'll get rid of that one. And that'll take it down a little bit more. I'll take, whoops, that's turned it completely off. I'll take that down a little bit as well. Ideally, about 50%, please. There, there, there we go. There we go. That should theoretically put it... I mean, that's probably put it two in the background now, I suppose, arguably, but nonetheless. Um, but yeah, and then rather than having it as a saber, you attach it to layer masks, and you can attach it to text layers as well. It's an incredibly good uh, little uh, extra. Uh, now, let's see. I mean, I like using it, so you never know. Uh, where is it? Uh, desktop. Ba -ba -ba -da. I mean, to a certain extent, it might be my voice going up and down because I am sort of, I'm not doing full showmanship style uh, vocals. I am doing mumbling artist vocals. Uh, where are you? There you are, that'll do nicely. Ba -ba. Uh, probably shot by free. Unhearable, I was gonna say. I was I was I was giving it a few seconds just to just to work it out in my brain because it was like Seems, seems a little unreasonable to suddenly pop in and go, for a second, you were almost unbearable. I'm like, uh, all right. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I appreciate that. Uh, right. Shot by free. Uh, what's the easiest way of doing that? Probably colour vibrant. this works or not, I don't know. Uh, let's have a go. It's still a little bit purple there, isn't it? That's the brightest pink I've got. Ooh. Let's chop that back on the full res so I can see a bit clearer. Is that, uh, right, okay. Let's see. Still want it behind. I don't know what, but it's a very, very pink, uh, very purple, rather. <laughs> no, that's even more purple, isn't it? Uh, no, it's probably because I'm trying to put a pink. to do is ditch that and do it properly. Ugh. <laughs> Don't tell me I have to do things properly. Blurg. Um, but yeah, sometimes unfortunately you do just have to accept defeat and do things properly. <laughs> I was being very lazy, not just going into the new file. And considering how quick that was. It really was laziness not going into the file. Uh, no, we're working on this one, aren't we? Yes. So I have to see how well that interacts with the mask. But what we want to do essentially is have something. About there. You and core size very rapidly put that down. And now that'd be interesting to see how that does with the mask up attached to it. Uh, probably best not to render it on max.
Mm. Irritating. Remember the number seventy five. There we go. Put that in a little bit. And remember the number seventy five. For those of you wondering why that was a peculiarity, for some reason when I copied and pasted the mask to keep things simple and easy, it came in as a square. Not entirely sure why that happened, uh, but it was an easy enough fix. And the, the magic number 75 was the one I discovered was tolerable when it came to uh, the feathering. Didn't take too much, but didn't allow it to spill out too far either. Still might be just clipping a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we need to go. I need to bring that in a little bit further. Same thing twice and get different results. It is it is an unfortunate uh, quirk. Yeah, I must admit the, the whole it, copying and pasting a completely different shape is peculiar. I've not seen that one before, but then again, After Effects does its own thing half the time anyway. Is that clipping the top? I don't. It's difficult to tell at this super fast speed. Oh, that's chilled out a bit. <laughs> Bring that in a bit more, especially for the explosion. But I can't deny. Mm. I like the good way of getting rid of it. Bring it up slow, and then poof, explosive finale. intolerable. Which is about as uh, high as my range of uh, because I've put the furthering on to make it not Right, so 
Telling me you haven't uh, enough memory to import a picture. Oh, do you know what? I have that. I vaguely remember that one. Playing <laughs> a different type. Uh, uh, I vaguely remember that. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it in ages and ages, so I don't. I don't know what I would have done to have fixed it, but there may have been a fix somewhere along the line. Because uh, I do. I don't know. Mm, my memory's not incredibly reliable at the best of times, but. Yeah. Part of me feeling like I remember that one, but. Definitely got that one. That one I've definitely got. Bloody Adobe Genuine product. Luckily I looked it up. You can just delete the whole folder. <laughs> and at least slows it down. Um, an insidious foe that will forever come at you. And you can slow it down if you can just keep deleting the folder. Go away. Go away. Go away. Which is absolutely <laughs> very, very silly. And it's going to go off to a blank screen for a moment or two. What is... Ah, uh... oh, welcome to the Discord. I can welcome you in person. Or slightly in person, I suppose. But yes, welcome to the Discord. Uh, you will get... Uh... I mean... There's not a lot. <laughs> not a lot, but you can, you can get stuff. Um... Anyway, let's watch that again just briefly. Do -do. Yeah. Well, having said that, I've played Hitman and other such. Uh, I suppose, no, not Hitman specifically. What's the one? Uh... Oh, it was Days Gone. I was recently playing Days Gone, and a lot of the places there you could distract people by throwing a rock next to, next to them. They aren't technically guards, because they were sort of freaky zombie creatures. But <laughs> nonetheless, you, you do, in, in video game logic, you can. Um, Hitman tends to be more throwing cans at the guard's head. Ooh. <laughs> Right. Sometimes, sometimes I'm actually quite pleased with myself, uh, and that's kind of one of them because I quite like that. Uh, right, let's save that since I actually quite liked it. There's just something about the way you get that little poofy explosion to get it to disappear. Uh, now I suppose let's fill in these gaps for starters. Uh, pop in there. Fill that gap there. Double check it doesn't. Well, yeah, you get that, but that's supposed to be there. Because that is theoretically at least. Yeah, I was going to say that is starting from there. Pop that into the black view as well. Well, I haven't said that. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Ah, of course, that's an old classic. <laughs> it was a very, very daft classic, yeah. I think that should look fine. Uh, now I just need to fill in the gap at the end. Probably isn't. It's not the world's most efficient way of doing these things, but. 
because I do have multiple files. I might as well do it this way. Uh, right, let's save it up. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I tell you what, we'll try to render it full and then we'll do it to, no, alright, fine. We'll do it to fit, there we go, that'll do. Uh, right. Off you pop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's only the Sabre plugin that's going to slow it down, because right, it's detailed, immensely detailed. It's asking a lot from a machine to... Uh, to deal with the Sabre plugin in general. Hence why hence why I was able to go, I can calculate all of this instantaneously. Oh, oh Sabre plugin, no. No, no. No, you, you're asking too much. Stop it. Stop it now. Be interesting to see if they leave that in because I don't think they ever solved the basket or did they? I suppose they might have done. I'm not sure now, I can't remember. I've watched so many lists where they refer to that uh, basket trick, uh, but I can't remember. <laughs> Throw a can at it. Um. Yeah, I can't remember if they ever fixed that basket trick, but it'll be interesting to see. Because it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if they left it in. Um, if they left it in the old... Might be like Giants bouncing you, yeah. That was a fun one as well. <laughs> Took it out and people crying. Yeah! But that was quite an amusing one. Although, having said that, when you landed, of course, you died. So, it's not great news, but... <laughs> It is one of those um, ones where sort of they might leave it in the next Oblivion. Is it? No. Elder Scrolls is the main series. Oblivion was the fourth one, wasn't it? Because I can't deny Oblivion was a very, very clever title, I think, because it had IV in it for four. And I thought I was, I was very impressed by that. Simple things for simple minds. But nonetheless, it did please me to see it. It was quite entertaining. Um, Skyrim sort of had it, didn't it? Because the Y sort of had a V-esque thing in it, I suppose. Or did they use a different part of it? I don't know. I don't think so. But yeah, be interesting to see what... I don't know if they've titled the next one, have they? I think they've certainly started work on it, but... Yeah, I always quite like that. I thought it was nice. It's a bit like, to a certain extent, uh, Resident Evil Village. I think that's not as good, but still quite good, the way they've done that logo, because they've highlighted... I think it might be orange and white, and I think the general word is sort of written in white and then they've put orange where you've got the v the i and the sort of the the i essentially the i and the i in the two l's what they've done is highlighted those two straight lines of the l in orange so you've got eight inside the word village which i think is quite nice wow i don't know to a certain extent the online one uh, I mean, the online one was never really going to be spectacular, but I suppose arguably I'm I'm a solo, I'm a single player through and through. Really, I've just grown accustomed to playing single player games at all times. So, whenever it the, the moment they went, we're doing it online. It's like, yeah, yeah, not for me, thanks, not for me. Although I think it's currently meant to be in a relatively good state uh, at, at the very least. Still doesn't necessarily appeal to me, but at the very least, it is meant to be in a, a nice playable state. There we go. Now, the key thing here is to see if we want more, more of a gap between the doings, which we may or may not.
because it's one of those ones where you don't necessarily want it sort of blinking and throwing things in your face too often. But on the other hand, you want it to be a key thing is make it a tolerably low length loop so that it's not sort of ridiculously sized. Because I'm not sure, I'm not sure if videos particularly take up much of the bandwidth, but I still, I still like to keep it in mind just in case. We should be, I was going to say, we should be starting the, uh, the electrical charge. Core is slowly faded. Uh, core is slowly rising. And then like that. That's probably about 35 seconds on that bar. We'll start rising the glow, or raising the glow rather. Basically, we're Dragon Ball Z in it, aren't we? I only just realised that. You are now officially the uh, pink Dragon Ball Z level of pink energy, which I'm assuming is one step above God. Because God was Cyan, if memory serves. Oh, I do like that. That added shockwave's quite nice. That shockwave's another, um, another video co-pilot one. Very, very clever one, that one. I particularly enjoyed that. Because that shockwave, despite it looking like a circle, is actually straight lines. Um, you basically, like here, this square uh, area, you run a sort of noise across the top, roughen the edge, and then you get a mask that reveals it by sc scrolling down. So the mask comes down and reveals it. And what you do is you use this thing called polar coordinates or something along those lines. And then it wraps it round into a circle. And because you're revealing the line via the mask, it looks like it's an explosion. It was very clever, very enjoyable. Uh, Yes. Well, didn't so, oh, I swear I've seen people you just use ladles or something ridiculous? Although I don't think you can actually use a ladle as a fighting implement, can you? I don't know. But unless I'm thinking of Dark Souls, which is even more of a sort of ridiculous achievement, the idea of oh, you know, I, you know, I can do uh, what's it? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's it's quite nice. Yeah, we're all on our second loop, so we've had a second shine. Now we're having our second energy build up. I don't necessarily think it felt too swift. In between sort of elements, but still. Unarmed Viking badass played the whole game with no magical weapons. Nice. I must admit, I, I usually end up defaulting to sort of... Well, I, I always want to try and use more magic, but then things come at me, so it ends up being, fine, I'll use a bloody sword. Uh, so, <laughs> it's one of those ones where I always have the, the willingness and the desire to go in and be fancy and do more with the game, but then dudes get in my face. Dudes in your face need a hammering. So I end up just being a wild barbarian of beatings rather than the fancy mage I'm trying to be. It's like, I want to be a fancy mage. I want to. Oh, okay, no, fine. Beatings it is. It's as much strength as I can put into the character and I can <laughs> just swipe the blade at them. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's the other one, of course. 
I found that. Uh, what was the one? I suppose it's, it's pretty much any stealth game. It's Assassin's Creed Valhalla was the most recent one, I suppose, which was very much okay. I'm going to be a stealthy assassin. Oh, I've assassinated you. I'm going to do it again. I've assassinated you. I'll do it again. Oh, he turned around. Shit, everybody dies to massive fucking sword. And that was basically my experience in Assassin's Creed. It was, I'm going to be a super stealthy ass. Oh, you turned around. Everybody dies. I mean, granted, everybody was going to die anyway, but that's not 100% the point. Okay. I think it is. It may be too subtle, but you never know. The eagle-eyed uh, may spot it. I don't know if you did in the uh, in the sort of visuals. I'll tell you what. We'll play it again at real time. See if it works. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that is real time. But up close, there you go. Yeah, I think it is. It is super subtle. It is super subtle, but I quite like that. But if we pause it there, in the shine. Of the uh, helmet, there is a TIE Fighter. <laughs> and if you check it, the TIE Fighter does move. So the TIE Fighter stays. The TIE Fighter's there for the first shine. And then the TIE Fighter's over here for the second shine. As I say, I think it might be too subtle. But I quite like it. <laughs> I mean, I, I must admit, I'm more... I'm more quite a fan that I got it to work. <laughs> it's kind of like who cares if anybody spots it I got it to work and it's there that's the two key pieces of information <laughs> I got it to work it exists and it is there okay so corner icon logo right I think and that's pretty much it you get your shiny shines you get your shiny shines then you get a bit of a gap and then you get uh, a genuine, uh, a big. Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> I was trying to talk and read at the same time, so I I use the word genuine as well. No, um, a, a nice sort of pink crackling, and then the pink explosion. Ah, okay, that's an interesting one. Yes, that is that is something I'm gonna have to fix. Yes, it is. I don't think I can fix that. Or can I? Oh, uh, annoying. Yes, that's the disadvantage of working on a black screen for a prolonged period. Mm, there is a fix. There is a fix. There is a fix. I just can't remember what the fix was. Blurg. Uh, Stencil Alpha? No. Stencil Luma? Mm, viable, but probably not. Silhouette Alpha? No. Silhouette Luma? Mm, not convinced. I need to get rid of that to find out. No, definitely not. Do -do 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 -do. That's normal. Screen is not doing what I need screen to do, which is interesting. Overlay. Interesting. Color? No. I swear I've solved this before. I can't quite remember how. Which is slightly problematic. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Lumaki. It would definitely make it slightly. Mm, I'm just blurring it, isn't it, really? Just bring it back, it might not be terrible, terrible. No, it's not quite going to do it. 
Definitely not gonna do it. Hmm. Quite different key, I suppose. It's not blue, okay. Uh, effect. Okay. at all. Uh, oh, that's because it's beneath. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. No. Oh, partially, but no. No. And no. Uh... Oh, I suppose arguably that has to be Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. I think I was using the right options, it just didn't work. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. So that's gotten somewhere. I just wonder if maybe I need to... It's, uh, tint, 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 colour. That's the wrong one. No, is it the right one? Wrong one. Oh god, I've gotten myself so confused. Right, that's the visible one. Okay. I want to do that's the invisible one. It's not made any difference. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's bring. No, let's solo that. No, that's locked. I can't solo that. Well, oh, shit. Okay, let's just bring it back then. If it wasn't obvious at this point, I've run out of... <laughs> I've run out of knowledge. Uh, no, colour correction is what I'm after. Uh, yes, that's fair enough. Um, uh, enjoy your dinner. And I will... Continue trying to work out how I fix this problem. Okay. That's well, certainly got it more black and white, which is kind of what I was after. Oops, off, please. That still doesn't quite. Screen still doesn't quite manage it. No. Still not. One day one of these will help. <laughs> but until that day. Alpha add? No. Smell, smells arguably. Let's try just normal. Yeah, normal would suffice. Uh, maybe what I need to do. Okay. Well, now that's interesting. Okay, let's try and see what we can accomplish here. So, really... What happens if I just zero all of these? Key fit the key value, which makes a degree of sense, it is a pink explosion. Key value is our magentas. Oh, 
<laughs> yes, just uh, I fear I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any appropriate goats on demand. Don't have any sort of goats on chains, which is, I think is the only, the only real logical and reasonable feed for a growing Jurassic. Okay, that's slightly unfortunate. I've lost all the rest of it there. I think this is Christmas, isn't it? Yeah, circles of the bells. Uh, can I do? Is there? What is that? This is doing, but it's doing something. Hmm. I certainly crimped that black back a little bit. I'll turn both of those back on. Need improvement. Yeah, let's have to work it out. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like working things out. Players don't like me. Increase the size. The fact that I've trimmed back, I've had to trim a lot of it off, I might counteract it. Have a look. Yes, I think that may have managed to trim back black whilst then improving the size. Well, I must admit that now looks a bit jittery. as much as my that's a look. Well, I missed it, but key thing is it was rendered it was rendered, so still not quite doing what I wanted to do. Hmm. Yeah it's still that back to 100% I think. Oh, might be easier, just in case it wasn't. There we go, it must have been 100% although I haven't said that. Now I've lost redo change value.
should I? Uh, I clearly went back too far. No, I might be fucked. That's back in that's back in the state it was in. Double check that. No, that's interesting. I think that's I didn't time that to uh, render. Interesting song. Wonder, might be part of the issue. I haven't said that. That's clearly, clearly is central, but. I need to just slide down now.
It shouldn't manage to bypass the mask, but it does every now and again look like it's doing it. something for it. Step too far there.
Yeah, okay, I think I've, I think I've managed to fiddle, fiddle it into semi-decent. I will give it another Go, give it another full go, and then I might move on to uh, figuring out the blender stuff, and then I should be able to, assuming I remember, be easy enough to get that rendering in a back in the background uh, tomorrow. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. It could be just as easy if I try and remember to do it before I uh, before I go downstairs for the evening. We can be chugging away this evening, doing its little rendering, as it so delightfully does uh, by itself. We'll have a few hours to uh, just work it out, and then carry on. Now you may be thinking, that seemed to skip, because uh, if you're interested, uh, I believe you can see it. Mm. Awkwardly, I think you can see it. There is a very tiny green bar from the beginning to the well to about to about here. Now it is progressing. Uh, that's the sort of internal. I don't know what it's called, but it's a preview render essentially. Uh, and once the green bar fills, it is you know ready. Uh, and because there was already a chunk of green where I rendered that section earlier. It, uh, it didn't need to re-render it, so it skipped to the next frame that it needed to render. I don't know if you were particularly interested, but, you know, it's one of those, one of those little oddities that uh, you may have been intrigued by. unfortunate when you have to sit staring <laughs> like there being a gap it is quite good in terms of it being a little icon in the corner I do that a lot with with some of mine um, where you don't always have to have it on as it were uh, certainly sort of like uh, the Final Fantasy one the little dude is doing his little slow run across the screen um, the Nuzlocke one you want the information on the screen for quite a an extended period of time so people can read it if they so choose before it flashes off but the problem with doing a full rendery type thing like this is I can't skip anywhere because otherwise it'll break it all and not play properly um, but you do just end up having to sit through the <laughs> sit through the bits where you've gone right at this point we just want it to, to sit there doing nothing and when it is sat there doing nothing it's like okay could you maybe get to the bit where I need to check what it looks like, please. But it's just one of those things, I suppose. And poof! Without the blackness, because where I've had to take the black out, it loses a little bit of oomph, but it still has that sort of poof effect that I was after. But yeah, I keep forgetting that explosion. I must work out if I can find a better workaround, but yeah. It's unfortunate that you work with the explosion on a black background. And because of that... Oh no, that is intriguing. What was that? Because I don't... Whatever it was, it does not make sense. Oh, I see. I understand what I've done. Yes, okay, let's fix that. <laughs> Why is it always a case of whenever you uh, whenever you think you've fixed a problem, another one springs up. Okay, so what we essentially need to do is go around about well maybe Okay, so we'll go like that. Had to 
take off a little bit of the uh, stop the pink expanding too far. Okay, re render that and see what happens with the rest of it. It should work now. Not goats, no, that's fair enough. Uh, round later tonight, as per, have fun with your arts hole. I will, I always have fun with my arts hole. Um, but yeah, I've got about half an hour until I put it away. Uh, uh, but yes, uh, like uh, Mr. Ark, do enjoy your dinner. Be it goat or not goat. Okay, let's let that skip over to its next area, because that will tell me whether there's a visual oddity or not. No, there we go. Okay, we've managed to managed to get that to not look peculiar when it jumps to the other source now, so that's alright. <laughs> no goats. No goats were harmed in the making of this meal. I'm led to believe goat is not an unpleasant food source. I don't know. I've, no, I don't think I've ever had goat myself. Oh, that's bloody a shame. I want you rendering from the beginning, please. There we go. Good. Right. Ah, uh, wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shining. Are you actually playing? Was that playing up real fast? Yeah, you was. Can't start being unsatisfied with the shine. That was fine. Not, <laughs> that was fine for quite a significant amount of time. That's been fine. I'll leave that alone. Right, here we go. Almost approaching the trouble area. Keep a good eye on it. Yeah, okay. I think we can go with that. I think that's fine. Because I didn't spot... I didn't spot the oddity I thought I might. But I think we're going to have to give it one more... One more wrap round to be absolutely certain. unfortunate because <laughs> as I say it does end up being the sort of just wait just wait because it's I think it's I don't know sometimes it's better but sometimes it's worse sometimes it's better to just sort of watch it in a kind of in, in its entirety because I think that's what any end user or end viewer whichever you fancy that's what they would be looking at it as. So sometimes you do have to just embrace the idea of looking at it like it is. There they go. Weirdly, that looked better that time around than the time before. I don't know. I don't know whether that's just fussiness. <laughs> but it's weird. That that time just moments before it was like no I don't like that um, whereas suddenly now actually it's quite nice I like it it's fine 
Penguins versus rabbits. That's definitely an abstract thought. Because I don't think... Well, I suppose you do... I don't know if you do get snow rabbits, actually. I know you, you, you do in uh, Don't Starve. Uh, don't, just don't Starve or Don't Starve Together. Uh, but I don't know if you do. <laughs> I don't know if you do in real life. You might get an Arctic hare. I feel like I've heard Arctic hare, but as I say, I might, I might just be mistaking it for games. Um, and games aren't life. Well, my life is games, I suppose. But uh, we'll say. Thirty seconds, and we'll be uh, we'll be back for the location. I'm trying to. This time, I need to. There's a specific area I'm trying to keep my eye on. As I said, not too bad because I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it the f last go round because it is. It, it's a matter of frames, but I just don't want. I don't want it too visible, but I also don't want it. I need it to do what I'm asking it to do, but I need it to do it invisibly. Hmm, not as invisible as I would like it to be. Let's improve one side of it. Let's go and do this little test again. Let's see if we can get this to do. Um, uh, check out the rest of them. there but it was uh, most assuredly the wrong one. This should be the best test for whether anything is getting clipped by the top of, uh, top of the file. certain nothing there. I just gotta keep watching it to see if I spot anything odd. Okay, I think two sides down, not spotting anything obviously odd at the moment. Basically, if you're interested, 
and just because you put the saber on a square solid if you then want that transparent sometimes it will the the sort of glow will bleed over the edges of that square solid and if you placed it somewhere i.e this little logo in a corner by itself you would end up going hmm, there's a bit of a square cut off on the edge there now that's what the mask is for the mask is designed to stop that however the mask is being a troublesome little bastard and it's not doing quite the job i expected it to do but i think i think it is doing enough because there's no obvious flat edge from anywhere that i can say i'm on theoretically i should have been on the last one by now but uh I, I watched one twice because I was talking and I couldn't concentrate and talk at the same time. <laughs> I know. Idiot. That's, there you go. Yeah, I think that's alright. Uh, by Jove. By Jiminy Jingos. I think we have ourselves a little corner piece. And just for those who weren't here earlier, who might be interested. Secret TIE Fighter! It's a secret TIE Fighter. It's a secret TIE Fighter. Okay, so saved, saved, uh, and quit. And that should disappear in a moment. You are full of goats. I'm very pleased. Are you, are you doing it? Doing it? It, it, it. Oh, it. Not the smoothest of closes uh, after effects, but you are now closed, marvellous. Yes, I'm pretty much calling that uh, concluded. So what I'll do is I'll get that rendered, as I was saying earlier, um, possibly tonight, possibly tomorrow morning. I don't know precisely when. Uh, I don't need any of those. Uh, but yeah, get it rendered, get it sent over. You should be able to pop it in a corner. And hopefully that will look quite swish. Uh, and now the other task I wanted to do... Uh, Oops, no. Let's see. No, that's they're ugly. Why would you? Why would you want these? Oh no, they are oh, vastly more ugly than I thought. Oh, that's a bit better. There we go. You can't actually see what I'm looking at. <laughs> so, um, I would be. I would be. I would be surprised if anybody spied the Tie Fighter in it because I have made it super. Super, super. Um, not quite. As I say, no, nobody can actually see what I'm muttering about now. So, it's such unfortunate. But I'm, I'm looking at plates. And I, I have a sort of... I suppose, arguably, I could just do the design in my head. It wouldn't make much difference. It's just I do sort of have a design in my head. And I was wondering if I could find a good example of that. Oh, that's not bad. Actually, that's very, that's very not bad. Okay, let's have a go at that. Uh, do, do, uh, where the bloody hell is the program? I probably need a new window for this. Cause I don't think I've ever done. I don't think I've ever done Blender. Yeah, here, here. Okay, so I suppose arguably I want to do it in. Yeah, probably best to do it in the file. Can't deny my computer might kick off a bit of a fuss at this exact moment in time because. Uh, it's, it, it don't like it. It don't like it. It, it don't like Blender. Blender's quite hard going for it, which is weird because it's not that much of a. <laughs> compared to some games, it's not quite as bad until you get into shit tons of polygons, which is uh, even more complicated. Uh, blender. Stick it up a Blender. Ah, no. Uh, I thought half could be. Oh, yeah, no, that is Blender. Blender, marvellous. Uh, capture the cursor, yes, please. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Uh, now we just want to. Oops, uh, that's what happens when you push several buttons all at once. Come on, come on. Under, under, under the overlay, don't you? Under the overlay. Uh, fit the screen. There you go. I mean, the, the overlay always takes up some degree of room. Uh, but yes. Uh, right, we want to come out of camera view. Also, we want to be in Blender. There we go. Out of camera view, marvellous. And now, yeah, I've got to figure out what I, precisely what I want to do. Where's my, where's my cursor? Oh, it is in the middle. Well, it's mostly in the middle. Uh, right, so I am thinking add a... Yes, 
the design of, oh, that is a massive circle that is a massive circle yes we don't need a circle that big uh, right so uh, I mean, let's have a look at that reference image again. Should really put it on the other screen, but then I can't see the chat and I can't see everything else, so it gets a bit awkward. Um, yeah, okay, if we make it. Oh, I don't know. We'll make it sort of roughly the size of our donut. Grass to be central, so we'll stick it there. Now, what we'll do is that's why I'm not in edit mode. That's no. Is that not? Why is that? Intriguing. Very intriguing. Oh, yes. I see. Maybe. No, yes. That one. This is even more. Here we go, right. Now, the only problem is... That's not... Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, scale it. There we go, that's what we're after. I, want, I must admit, maybe I've got too many faces. Uh, I've built it now. <laughs> I think... I can't be bothered to go back. Um, and by the way, I don't know... Uh, if you remember rightly, I showed off a little donut. I gave you a donut for celebrations. Um, I assume most people realised it was not a real donut, but that's this is basically how I was able to transform a donut into a um, into a you know cancellate must paint donut because essentially that's what you can do. I just changed up the colours of the donut with it within Blender. Yeah. yeah, not intolerable. And then, what I want to do, I, I must admit, what I also want to do is fill that. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then, yeah. E it again. Something like that. And I usually have plates that are that. Deep, otherwise it's a bowl. But yeah, I must admit I may have gone a bit too far on that. Well, I haven't said that. Yeah, it's no, it's no deeper than the the coffee sauce. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah right, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll shallow it out a little bit. Like Photoshop with another dimension. I mean, that is exactly what it is. It really is. Um, and it's, uh, I mean, it's a fucking bastard. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've attempted to master 3D modeling so many times now. Uh, and, well, I never have. So, you know, that tells you one thing. Uh, although I'm usually, it usually does mean whenever I'm learning it, I'm a step above anybody else learning it because I've done it a billion times before. <laughs> but there you go. You might as well be inventing light speed travel for all the understanding I have, yeah. Um, I mean, technically, I don't know. Strictly speaking, it depends on your definition of... Uh, of the animation part of my degree, I suppose, but... Uh, uh, that's the wrong axis. That's the correct axis. There we go. Uh, and zero. I don't necessarily know if I want it. I don't know. I, I can just start again. That's fair enough. I'm slightly tempted to sort of have it slightly curved, maybe. I may be going slow, but I'm off the sofa. I'm assuming in being in quotation marks. Okay, so point, point three. Yeah, that gives me something to aim for. Bloody hell, which one is it? That one. Right round. Okay, we'll 
of them by point three. I said point three. Pretty certain I said point three. Doesn't matter, must admit. I took one too many points. Yes, I did. Ah, okay. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Interesting. Central line. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that one shouldn't be taken. Okay. Uh, as in, if you're learning something, you're a step ahead of someone that isn't. Ah, I see. Uh, y, point three, bam. Superb, right. Now, scale X this time, isn't it? Is it? Or is it? Oh, suddenly, Pac-Man. Non-Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Non-Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Uh, no, uh, point three. Is that the correct axis? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, now do the same to these ones. Uh, scale, hex, point for a bam. Do it quickly when you're confident. Uh, one thing I would say is maybe... Scale them out a bit more. Well, I haven't said that. This is not exactly the world's most... Uh, the world's best way of measuring something. But, yeah, no, okay, that is even. So, the crucial element I'm not 100% sure about is these corners here. Have a look at it. Yeah, that's it, again. Well, I could try and do something fancy with the corners, but truth be told, it's, it's meant to be a, a fairly basic plate, just as, as a sort of practice, so... I'm behind that. That's a little basic plate. I mean, it'd sit on a counter because it's got a flat bottom. You can stick things on it because it's got a flat surface. And it's just got a little bit of a little bit of a square to it, which is what I wanted because that's basically the sort of plates we have uh, here at my house. We have plates with a little bit of a square edge. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that basically done there. Oh uh, god, what the bloody hell solidify? Yes, solidify, maybe, no. Yes it is. Uh, do we need to change that? No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. So it depends on whether I want it up or down. Uh do we want it slightly thicker? Thick plate. I mean arguably you could go thick plate! <laughs> I get the impression that's a slightly more impractical plate. Uh, so we are more after, and it is in fact 0 0.02. Let's have a look at these plates. Uh, yeah, I think maybe slightly thicker. Yeah. And now what we want to do is pop that in there, and then shade it smooth. Okay, I'm not doing quite what I wanted to do. Let's try adding subsurface division. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll go with that. Let's put another layer on the viewport so I can see it a bit better. And now, yes, we do need to do some adjustments. So... Uh, is that X-ray? Yes, it is. Marvellous. Right. Steak served on a slate. <laughs> I must admit, I've never, I've never experienced that. Okay, so yeah, we put an edge loop there, and then maybe just uh, I'll sort of start moving it down. So I don't know what. We'll put an edge loop there, and then what I'm going to do is inset that to get an edge loop inside of that. And let's take off the... Oh, there you go! That's about what I was after. Oh, that little... That little detailed indent. Just show it a little bit more. 
Yes. Take that in object mode, see it in all its glory. Yeah, I'd say that was a I'd say that was a semi decent plight. <laughs> I suppose yeah, because a slate. Whereas this this is the sort of plate you want for juice, isn't it? Because it's got that little bit of a channel that runs it all into the centre. Whereas with a slate, it is perfectly flat, isn't it? I think I've you know, I've experienced the slates a couple of times, but mostly for desserts. Um, been down to a, a pub. Uh, this is well beyond, well before the old uh, the old world situation. Um, <laughs> People serving soup in water and that's now that's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it was a it was basically a cheesecake. Um, uh, Z. So I'll try and pop this donut onto the surface of our soon-to-be counter. Something like that. And then we want to pop our donut so that it sits on the plate. Which is actually going to be slightly more difficult than I give it credit for because I can't really do it in that angle because I can't see when it clips through the plate. In fact, I still can't see when it clips through the plate, which is making life a little bit awkward. In fact, I think it may already be clipping through the plate. Uh, no, no, that's going to be. I think that's going to be our marker. Bam. Uh, invisibility mode off. to say for absolute certain but I think the angle the angle won't make too much difference but yeah that's not too bad a little sort of slightly square edged plate sat nicely or uh, sat nicely well sat nicely beneath our donut I suppose it still looks a little bit like the donut is like floating but Issue we've got is I'm not convinced it's true that it looks like it's floating. I think it's just the edges are. I we could. It is now technically flipping through the plate, but it be a case of affairs of just embrace the clippage. Do we need to adjust that again? No, that should be fine. Uh, get rid of that. Do, do I want my plate at a jaunty angle so that it's not just quite so square on? I don't know. Uh, that's the button I'm after. Uh, rotate around the z-axis. Yeah, might be interesting to do it at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, then we're probably going to want to move all of that everywhere but the Z axis. Let me just have a, just have a little bit more of the plate in there since as I did build the plate. Uh, now I suppose I need to put a material on my plate, don't I? Because otherwise, uh, ah, I didn't want to do that. Bollocks. I must remember that. <laughs> so used to not having that control present, it's slightly awkward. Uh, so yeah, with my new material. And now I must admit, I wonder. I think it's just your round bottom. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, I don't know. I suppose I'll just try and find one. Because a lot of the time, unfortunately, as much as I, you know, as much as it'd be delightful to sort of go ahead and create my own ceramic material, you usually find, most of the time, someone's already done a really high quality um, thing. Oh yeah, I know. That's because this is, this is, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, display, oh, sorry, it must be at the bottom. Material preview mode. So, basically, that cup is a glass material, and in this mode, because it's uh, it's something like the EV. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, because this is what's called the EV render engine, it's very, very quick to render. But 
it doesn't deal with stuff like glass. So if I pop it into the full cycles render, you will see that that is a pure glass glass. It's a pure glass glass uh, with a coffee liquid, coffee adjacent. Still not 100% satisfied with my coffee liquid there. Uh, but unfortunately this, this render mode takes uh, a long time and I've I've even I even sort of popped it down to only 16 samples because it just takes too long to try and render that out it's like very fancy but it's also like entirely impractical and not necessary not necessary at all uh, right okay here we go let's get this material that I've just stolen essentially uh, right so we want the material output uh, we want add shader. Interesting. I don't know what an add shader is. So oh, there it is. Uh, we want to get rid of that for now. So at this point, this is what's called the node editor, and basically you introduce these different nodes. So I want a mix shader, and what they do is they create a material output. I need the material ID lead to be there. And once you've got the appropriate stuff, glossy bustuff. Yeah, glossy bustuff. I don't know what this is going to look like because I am just copying it, so I, I take no credit for this whatsoever. Uh, two buff, two diffuse bustuffs. Whoops. I've clearly pushed a wrong button somewhere. Two of them. Which we can probably... No, it's shift D, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. Paint reflections on miniatures, planets in cockpits. Yes, I know. A knight in armour that had a whole forest with... My word, that's impressive. I mean, I do own... I own the uh, Vincent Special Thai... I think, is it the X1 or the V? No, it might be the V1. The Inquisitor's tie. Uh, but essentially, it's the Vincent Special, which has a planet reflected in the cockpit. And it's like, wow, that's just stupidly good. Go away. <laughs> Go away now. Uh, layer white. Okay, so we've got our baselines. So, what do we want to do? We want to do blend point one. Blend point one. Uh, colour appears to be white, roughness of zero. Colour white, roughness of zero, cool. Uh, colour black with a roughness of zero. Oops, colour black with a roughness of zero. Uh, roughness, if you're interested, is the sort of reflectivity of a... It's the property of reflection of a material. So the glossy needs to be a Beckman grey. Why have I got a Fresnel? I must have done that by accident. Um, true. Very, very, very true. Uh, roughness of zero and a grey. Oh, we want a Beckman. No. An approximation of a grey like that. Never going to be exact without the exact figures, but that doesn't make too much difference. And now, basically, uh, so facing to factor uh, bustuffs to shaders bustuff bustuff and now shader to shader and wait for it oh, hang on. here's where the magic happens I connect this last node and China oh oh <laughs> yeah no okay that did I was I was almost like yeah, it didn't really do much, but then it suddenly loaded in the fact that it has got a bit of a shine to it. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good china. I'm not gonna lie. That's quite a good china. Uh, oh dear, I've, yeah. Unfortunately, it's gonna be very difficult to tell. Um, very difficult to tell in this low render output, but yeah. I suppose the one other thing I could do maybe. Let's see. So. What do I think? Hmm. Okay, there we go. So 
we wanted our plate to be a little off white and maybe here I don't know precisely no oh, that is adding a little bit to it so maybe if we made that a little darker off white it does look a little bit shit <laughs> uh, now what's this so this is the crucial thing is you can sort of ah so this grey uh, makes sense glossy glossy buster it's in charge of the shininess the glossiness um, yeah we could sort of dampen that grey a little bit and there there we have a slightly less white china Ooh. Can't deny that's looking a little bit too yellow. A bit like someone pissed in your dishwasher, and you don't want that. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably have a play with some of the. Uh, I might play with the settings and colour, but uh, for for about what in fifteen minutes work, that's not actually too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Save that up. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We will do. I'll do an official render, but I don't know how long it could take. It could take a while. Uh, let's see what it reckons. Oh dear. Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay, no, that's no. No, it's coming down. It's coming down. It's doing a lot of it swifter than expected. Well, that still reckons it's going to be about eight minutes, so. Well, arguably, I don't know. This might break things by trying to do multiple things at once, but it might be beneficial to have. Uh, that, that's all. Uh, is that actually it? Oh shit, that is actually, that is just plain odd, it? Don't really need the capture there. Uh, move it down a bit, so it's beneath everything. And then fit the screen. Uh, I don't know, we probably want it a little bit smaller. Yeah, something like that. That's basically the view I've got on my main screen. Now be careful, let's lock. Yeah, let's lock some of these, because otherwise we're going to start moving shit. I don't want to move, which is always annoying. Uh, I think what, it might be worthwhile, because it's not necessarily going to appear all the time. Could we please not? Oh, I can't. I'll do it the other way around, shall I? Yeah. I'll put it on top of the arts hole. And then that way, maybe, if I do... Yeah. Assuming it will automatically capture each time, I don't know if it's on. There you go. There is... There is my Blunderunder. Which is what everybody wants to see. Everybody wants to see my blunder runder. Where'd you put your blunder runder? I put it round the back here. Oh, okay, that shot to about ten minutes now. Although now it's dropped right back down. I suppose because it's rendering a, a nothing. Once it hits this, did I capture the cursor? Here? No, I didn't. Because I said, because I said it wouldn't be necessary, didn't I? I said no. Curse, I won't be necessary at this uh, on this little thing because I won't need curses. Bloody idiot. Uh, okay, we've got slight, slight double cursor because it's over the two windows. But anyway, this grey area here. Have I cancelled it? No, it's just taking it sweet last time. That's fine. This grey area is nothing. Literally nothing. There is nothing there. So it can render it very quickly. Whereas this liquid here, yes, this liquid here, that is super duper hard to render because it's rendering the glass of the glass and then it's rendering this sort of pseudo liquid glass texture in the middle of it and it's doing what's classified as a bump map for these condensation e drops so it's doing a lot <laughs> and then here this donut just has a lot of polygons because it's even again this one's got another bump map uh, or normal map um, which basically distorts the basic texture of the donut to give it a little bit more sort of roughness to it, which provides a, a shed load of 
a shed load of information for Blender to try and process, which Blender, God bless it, God bless it, it does its best. I must admit, I am slightly more pleased with the colour of that plate now, because that is slightly closer. I'd have to look at our plates, because I mean, essentially my goal was to build our plate, my plates, the plates I use at home, and that is a little bit closer to the colour that I've, I've got in my brain for the plates we use. Uh, whereas in, in the actual sort of the area here, in fact you can see it, double mousing again, but you can see there, it did look a bit more like piss. Whereas now it looks a bit more sort of like a, a mustardy colour, which I think is roughly what ours are counted as. But yeah, we are straight back up to sort of nine minutes, <laughs> which we are 33% of the way through the render. This is where it would be very useful to have about six graphics cards. Because then I could have more, more bits uh, and pieces, and it would render quicker. But apart from that, it's not too bad. Especially once we're on the white again, because it is there is something there at least with the white bits, but the white of the desk or the table, whatever you want to call it, it's just a plane, and it's just white, so it doesn't take much calculation. Um, shadows. Shadows take a lot of calculation. So the shadow of the plate would have taken quite a lot of time. The shadow of the donut on the plate would have taken a reasonable amount of time for it to process as well. We have done, yeah, I suppose we're about 42% of the way through, which is 215, 16, 17 tiles, which if you're interested, what it means by tiles is these little sort of where it's got the orange border lines that is a tile and you can see where it sort of it flashes a you'll note I don't know where it's gonna there you go it'll highlight an area and then start working on it and I think essentially I don't know I can't remember what the actual render oh here we go here we go there you go that nothing again beautiful beautiful amount of nothing it will slow down a lot on the donut <laughs> and then we'll get into nothing again and it will speed up uh, substantially, but yeah, we sh we just shot from about forty five percent to sixty percent because it did a load of nothing in the background, which is quite nice. But yeah, I don't I don't know why we I don't know why I'm insisting on sh sitting here showing you it rendering, but I don't know. I'm sat here watching it render. You might as well suffer with me. <laughs> um, I think there is a there is a sort of filter. Oh, I mean. Their machines must be magnificent. Plus, I don't... I'm, I'm going to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about, but dear God, don't fall for it. Um, because I don't. <laughs> but I think what they can do as well is there's like ways to kind of network machines together. I'm fairly certain that's factual. I don't know how you do it. But that's factual. You can like network a farm of machines together, and that way you would have processing power out of the wazoo to just throw at them. But it would still take. I suspect their their level. I there's probably tricks they use as well. Maybe you know, possibly to. Uh, I don't know necessarily if it would make a difference, but I don't know whether they can perhaps layer bits. So they take a sort of basic and then they get a layer and then they can plug those two together or something. I don't know. As specified, please never, never, even if it sounds like it, never, ever make the mistake of thinking he knows what he's talking about. Because I rarely do. Um... <laughs> Probably. Probably. I mean, you probably have sort of... Plus, I don't know, like... I know different artists work on different scenes and stuff. So you'd have all the tiny little cuts. So every time the camera cuts to something else, that'd be like a singular render that they're probably piecing together, which probably eases it off a bit. But, I mean, certainly I know uh, Christmas time, I did a sort of city... I made, because I you've just joined, oh, in fairness, actually, I've just remembered, 
uh, with my Discord, there's extra th shit I have to do um, because I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. Rolls. You are now officially a citizen of Drakeford, uh, which means more of the Discord has just opened up. So, yeah, uh, you can now go into general chat. You should have announcements. You should have the live stream in generals uh, and all sorts of bits and pieces. But uh, yes, you should now have access to that. But my, my Discord is based on the idea of being a city. It is the city of Drakeford. And you are now a citizen in the city of Drakeford. And so at Christmas, I actually did make um, a cityscape. I made sort of the town square of the city of Drakeford and put up a Christmas tree, put in some presents, put a load of Christmas lights all over it. And it took maybe... I think it took several days of pure rendering to do what I think was about 60 seconds worth of animation <laughs> which is kind of like oh wow wow that's a lot that's a lot and I don't just mean days as in the days I mean days as in 24 hours worth of day I, I had my machine rendering overnight as well which I don't particularly like allowing it to do but sometimes you have to sort of Sometimes you have to make sacrifices, I suppose. But it, it was a, a ridiculous job. Um, and I have had worse ones. I had worse when... Re wenders? Worse Wenders. Um, I don't know if I've got the file. Probably not. But uh, I'll tell you what. Right, so we can do that. Let's drop that back to solid view because it's easier on the machine and better... I think it's, I don't, this is probably not for uh, most people, but I prefer to leave my files in solid mode so that when I open them, the machine doesn't have a heart attack trying to render everything. Uh, I feel like it makes it easier. But I tell you what, if I've got it, I should have it somewhere. Uh, this one. Uh, I don't know the best way of doing it. Let's try and find it. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, yeah, pictures will help. Uh, that's the one. So let's say what. Now we've pretty much come to the end because I'm definitely putting it away in a moment. We'll drift that out. What I quite like with this pretzel rocks is it. It has an automatic fading to it. Unlike most sort of players, it automatically sort of fades out the tune, which is quite nice. But let's see if I can't get that. As a window. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, I mean, just yeah, ET. It's called ET now. It was supposed to be. It was going for being temp, but uh, it didn't work. Oh, uh, fine. Okay, that's not ideal, but fuck it. One of my proudest. I'll do it via this way because it will do. Uh, what am I after? What am I after? What am I after? No. Is it that? No, no, it's that. Media source, that's one. Uh, this is one of my proudest um, videos. Or intros, mostly what I do. And I, I will happily show it off at any given opportunity. Uh, I just need to find it. There we go. Uh, video intros. Ah, uh, there you are. But this is all 3D graphics. Granted, this is in. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, 3ds Max. But that is a very shiny dog charger, though, I know it is. Admittedly, I'm not sure, though, but it's still quite good. A little dodgy on the red, but where I couldn't really afford to spend more time rendering shit out. You get the sort of the sort of unfortunate thing where it's kind of um, I have to slow down the footage for pacing. Um, I'm trying to uh, get my hand to work and doing everything. Uh, 
I wanted to slow it down for the post time. I didn't want to re-render it, so it ended up being a bit of... Oh hey, we'll just... Um, we'll just sort of pop... Pop it in After Effects, slow it down rather than re-render the whole thing. Which would have been a nightmare, because, you know... I suppose arguably, I think, yeah. We'll just watch the beginning bit just once more, because the beginning bit's the 3D bit, but... I, I will point out, those are pre-made simulated crowds in Blender. Um, not Blender, 3DS Max. So I didn't do the crowd, I just plopped them in. Um, the machine did it wrong. And it was nice, but yeah. And again, to the smoke. Oh, I think it's quite good at the boot, so... Nice little bit of collapsible uh, thing there. Pop them down, attaching the camera to the wheel, because it's quite... It's quite fascinating seeing what you can do with cameras in 3D animation, of course, because you, you are not constrained, of course. You're not constrained to anything um, specifically real-world. Granted, that sort of camera they could probably mount on the back wing of the car, but nonetheless, you, you know, in Blender I could just sort of... Basically, I think you parent it. You place it and parent it, and then it will follow the instructions the parent has. So I told the car to slide round the corner and the camera slid round the corner with it. Uh, but yes, that was that was many years ago when I was really into 3D uh, graphics and modelling and stuff. Uh, so that was quite nice. Oh, hey. I'll tell you what, that'll work nicely. We will raid into... Uh, no. Uh, Jimmy Gims. Uh, he won't appreciate that. He doesn't like that. Uh, but nonetheless, nonetheless, we will raid into uh, James Games, and yeah, I mean, standard streams for me are going to be Wednesday afternoons 4:30 for random stuff, and then Thursdays at eight o'clock uh, for the slightly bigger show with Half Minute Hero and Death Spank, and then Saturday afternoon for Saturday. Um, so yes, we'll. We'll pop in and see uh, James. Uh, I will. I'll just say cheerio, and then we'll we'll do. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed um, a little behind the scenes of me doings. And as I say, I'll I'll try and remember. I should be able to set that rendering now, and that'll be done by uh, by tonight. And see you. Hopefully, it will come out well because sometimes renders screw up. But anyway, I as I say, cheerio. Uh, see you again in the sort of uh, uh, sooning times. <laughs> I'll probably catch the tail end of your Wednesday stream, so uh, that'll be nice. Um, and I'm usually sort of I usually catch the tail end of uh, blue bushes as well. Anyway, the time is timing down very quickly, and I tend to ramble for quite a substantial amount of time. So it's quite good having that timer because it kind of forces me into actually saying goodbye rather than just rambling forever. Anyway. I will say cheerio.